Seeing versus looking, justice is coming. Of course, David saw Goliath because his eyes were working. We see, but are we looking intently at something or someone? Those of us who have functioning eyesight can't help seeing things. However, there's a difference between a man seeing a beautiful woman walk past him or looking intently at her curves. Seeing a problem and acknowledging its existence is one thing, but looking at and hyper-focusing on a problem exalts the problem. If a problem causes us to live in fear, we have exalted it above God, which is idolatry. COVID has caused many Christians to live in fear, i.e. in idolatry. Instead of fully trusting God and his size, and the fact that he is all-knowing and all-powerful, they have looked at Goliath or the giants in the promised land, Numbers 13, whereby making the problem bigger than their God. Dear pastor and church leader, it is time to ask yourself, are you led by the Holy Spirit as you lead your congregation? Have you misused scripture, obey your government, to put pressure on God's people? Have you, because of fear of the government, pushed your congregation to just follow what the authorities are demanding? Are you truly led by the Holy Spirit, ready to go into the furnace? Daniel 3. In Acts 5.29 we read the following. Peter and the other apostles replied, We must obey God rather than man. So much for blindly obeying your government. But how do we know? We must be led by the Holy Spirit at all times and in all matters, especially as leaders. Read James 3, 1. Is your relationship with Jesus Christ so shallow that arising problems cause you to live in fear, while obviously doubting that God is in control? If our relationship with our Lord and Savior is shallow and lukewarm, we are in trouble whether we like it or not. Revelation 3.15 I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. And then Matthew 7.21 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. You must seriously ask yourself who sits on the throne of your heart, who controls your mind. Turn to God now. He is a God of justice and truth not just a God of love and grace. I would also like to urge you to look at Amir Tsarfati's study regarding the generation that will not pass away before all is fulfilled, as we read about in Matthew 24. Let me put it this way. We do not have 20 more years before Jesus returns into the clouds, 1 Thessalonians 4.17. Amir Tsarfati is an Israeli Christian his study is called The Generation That Shall Not Pass Away.